Hi, this is Jake from Cold War Collectors, and this is the beginning of a new series I'm going to call Gas Masks of the Warsaw Pact. And for the first segment, I'm going to start off showing um, the evolution of the Soviet SCHM-41M, which was the main gas mask used by regular Soviet infantry from the early 50s all the way to the late 80s. Now the Soviets also had you know, speci more specialized masks for snipers, rocket troops, border guards, but I'm going to only be showing the standard infantry version. So this is what would most commonly be seen. The SCH M41M is a very common full helmet style gas mask, which is, I'm sure a lot of you have seen on the market as maybe a GP5 type of mask, and it looks very similar, but I will point out the differences here for those of you who, um, who don't know. But there is an evolution to how it works, and you know, different parts were, were, were put in, and it made some parts of the mask bigger, and so on. So we'll begin here in the first bag, which this isn't the original bag, this is a GP5 bag. But this is the first version of the SCHM41M that came out in 1950. So, hold on, let me set the camera down. Okay, so this is the first version. This design is very close to the World War II type, um, the SM-1, which came out in 1941. Um, they basically upgraded it by molding in a tissue tube system to help defog the lenses into the mask itself, as opposed to just being a separate piece of rubber on the inside, which the World War II ones did have. So this would have been black, and it would have been a separate piece, so I could have peeled this whole thing all the way down if I wanted to. So they molded it in here, and the wartime ones just had a cloth tape that went around. And then the later war ones, they added the metal clamp piece. So that was added later in World War II, but they kept on using it, so it, it helps give, you know, keeps the mask together a lot better. Now you can notice just how small this inhale-exhale valve is. It barely sticks out and it comes down to the slant to help with the hose fitting. If you look in here, here is your exhale hole. Your exhale valve is inside there with the, the markings on it. It is a single exhale valve. So look inside here. And that, that donut looking thing in the middle. It's hard to get a look on it, but that is the exhale valve. And this is a single, so that's why this is so short. But that's essentially, you know, what, what 1950, 1950s gas mask technology in the Soviet Union was for the standard infantry, was this right here, the first version of the SCHM-41M. Now this set also came with a cloth hose, which I have here is the original hose with this mask. And it came with a large flask style filter, which I do not have, but I have an example of one. It's a it's a Polish EO14 filter, but it's exactly the same design. It's just a different color. So it would have been a filter like this issue with it. So if you can imagine this filter being about a brownish color, close to the paint color of this on the inside of the hose, that would have been correct. So this would have been the set for the 1950s up until the mid-1960s. And the bag would have been just, you know, a normal, it would have been a bag much like this. It probably would have had the, the belt buckle clap deal and it would have had another pocket for your decontamination kit. Now, after 
after this, after, in 1965, the military reevaluated the masks and came out with a different design. And this would be the next generation of SCHM 41Ms. And this would see use all the way up until the late 80s. So basically, here's a look of the inside. You have your three pockets, your hose, your um, anti-fog inserts would sit in here. If I can get it open here with one hand, there they are. Your filter would sit here, and this would go around the top of the filter and your hose so as to help secure it. And then your mask sits in here. Now, this isn't correct storage for combat. It would have been, the hose would have attached to the mask and gone in this, tucked it in here while your um, emergency poncho would sit in here. And then, of course, your decontamination kit would go in this side pocket. And then this bag has a shoulder strap and then a strap to go around your waist to secure it. Alright, so if I can get it all out here with one hand. This is the later SDHM 41M. So you can see it's very similar, only the big difference now is the size of the inhale exhale valve. It's grown about an inch. And the reason for that is the addition of a second exhale valve, as you can see here. Now when I open this carefully, you can see inside, if you look, it's the same. It's the same um, round exhale valve as in the early version of the SCHM41M in the same place, but they extended this out and put in this here. It's a, more of a flimsy exhale valve, but it is a second one, and it does work. And this is a trend the Soviets like to use, where you'd have a mask with a double exhale valve. Just adds a bit more protection, a little more peace of mind. Uh, the fittings are all galvanized, and pretty shiny. They do vary in different factories and different places. The inside is still the same. And this mask is dated 1971. You can see. I forgot to mention that uh, the first generation here that I have um, is dated 1951 and which out the second second year of production of these, because this design came out in 1950. Now the rest of this kit is the same as the earlier one. You you would get you would get your cloth hose, exactly the same. You would get your anti-fog inserts, which you would just open this up. I'm not going to, but you would open this up and you would have little thin plastic sleeves and you just slip them inside the mask and kind of they just stick to the inside here and that, would that was supposed to prevent fogging. And then you would have your filter. Now this filter I have here is a 1983 dated EO16 coffee can filter. And I've checked with a lot of people and have put the question out in many places, but no one has been able to answer it for me whether the Soviets switched to the coffee can filters or not. In 1965 through the 60s, for sure, this set was issued with the same flask style filter, the EO12 filter. So, once again, this is originally issued with this. If you imagine this being about this color, that's what it would be. But I've also heard that they did switch to this, but you know, I, there's still nothing for sure on whether they did or not. So for the time being, my kit is going to stick with the EO16 filter until I'm until proven proven otherwise. So that's your um, your standard second generation of SCHM 41Ms. And this saw service, once again, from 1965 all the way up to the late 80s. And I'll do a compare comparison here. 
with the two so you can see the differences a little easier. Now obviously this one is much older and so age has gotten to it quite a bit, but it is still in pretty great condition compared to this though, but you know, it's more gray and that's been beat up a little bit too. But The main difference here is just the size so you can see. And I'll do a view under here so you can see the valves. Let's see, here's your single exhale valve, and here's the second one. And if I bring it under, you can see it. And they also changed the color a bit. The 50s ones were really dark brown, like the GP5, and the 60s and above were this were a lighter, kind of a greener mustard kind of a color. Alright, so that'll complete the first segment of Gas Mask of the Warsaw Pact. This is, once again, the SCHM-41M, the standard gas mask for the Soviet infantry from the 50s through the 80s. Very long service life, and... Well, to be honest, I, would, I think it's a much proven mask. It's seen wide usage through many countries, and... It is cheap and easy to produce and very simple, but that's, you know, less, there's less things to go wrong with it, I suppose. So thank you for watching, and if you enjoy, if you enjoy collecting Cold War gear or gas masks or anything from the Cold War, any type of countries, make sure and subscribe to the Cold War Collectors channel for more content just like this. Thank you.